Hi everyone, it's Eleanor here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this autumnal dark lip makeup tutorial for you guys. Recently I acquired some new makeup, some I purchased and some was sent to me via press drops. So I'm not going to waste any more time, let's get right into this tutorial. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with this product called Body Blur and it's by a company called Vita Liberata. Actually it's a luxury tanning product, not that I need a luxury tanning product, not that I'd ever go out and buy a luxury tanning product, but it was sent to me via a press drop and I thought you know why not just try it. And actually I've been using it as a primer under my makeup and the real reason I've been loving it is because under my makeup it just leaves my skin with this really iridescent sheen or a bit of a glow and it just works really well. Moving on to foundation, today I'll be using the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Powder Foundation. So this is actually my first time using a powder foundation. I received this foundation at the Black Opal relaunch event a couple of months ago. And it's kind of been sitting in my cupboard and I've kind of been erming and arming about using it, but I thought I'd use it today. And um, the color that I'm using is called Rich Caramel. So I'm just starting off by using the little sponge applicator that came with the foundation. And then I'm gonna buff it in with my makeup buffing brush. I was a bit unsure of the finish of it on my skin while I was applying it but actually looking at it on camera it seems okay. To conceal under my eyes I'm using my Kiko Milano Skin Modernist 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I mainly just use this as a concealer under my eyes because I have very dark under eye circles and then also just apply the smallest amount on the bridge of my nose because I would like to highlight that portion and then I just make sure that I blend it in nicely. To set my concealer, I'll be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and this works really well. I'm going to be using the bronzer that I received in this LA Girl Blush Collection. This was sent to me by a press drop as well. And I must say, I really like this bronzer, so I use it to provide a bit of a contour to my face, and then I also use the same bronzer to contour the sides of my nose. I forgot to say that I do have a blog post art featuring some of this new makeup so I will link that down below for you guys so you can read up a little bit more in depth about it. Moving on to blush, I'm going to be applying this dark coral blush colour and I'm just going to apply it lightly to the apples of my cheeks. I always feel like I'm a bit heavy handed with blush so I'm really trying to apply it lightly and then just apply a little bit more if I feel I need to. The very white looking highlighter in the palette does not work on my skin tone so I decided to go for an old faithful which is Max Gold Deposit. And I just apply that to the top of my cheekbones and then I take it up a little bit above my eyebrow. I also apply it to the bridge of my nose and to my cupid's bow. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to start by applying Max Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And this is going to serve as a nice primer for my eyeshadow because I really want my eyeshadow to pop today. So I'm just going to blend that in nicely and set it with a little bit of my translucent setting powder. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I've actually been using this palette in every single eye look that I've done over the last two months. I love this palette so much. I'm going to start by applying salted caramel into the crease and I'm going to blend that in nicely by using a backwards and forwards motion. And I like to build on the color slowly so I just start off with a little bit of color at first and then I build it up by applying a little bit more as I carry on. Next I use a combination of marzipan and champagne truffle and I apply that to my lids, making sure that I blend it in as I go. To provide a bit more depth to the eye look, I'm going to be taking my detailer brush and combine the two shades Triple Fudge and Amaretto and apply those two shades to the outer corner of my crease and making sure that I blend it in really well as I go. I find that my eyelids are really small so I really have to use a tiny brush to get that colour in there into the crease of my eye, otherwise it just goes everywhere. And then of course I just take a blending brush and I blend it all in really well. And then I'm going to take triple fudge and amaretto again and just line my lower lash line. Then I'm going to line my eyes with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Eye Pencil and I'm just going to smudge it out using an angled brush. I didn't show it on camera but I did also apply a little bit of that eyeliner to my waterline. 
For mascara, I'm using the new Palladio Double Agent Lash Extender and Undercover Fiber Booster Mascara. Wow, that really is a mouthful. <laughs> so it's supposed to give you major statement lashes. It definitely gave me striking lashes, but I wouldn't go so far as to say that they've given me the look of falsies, but I really do like the mascara. And I apply that to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to use the shade called Champagne Truffle from my Chocolate Bar palette again to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I really like to do that because it helps to give me more of an awake look and I just really like the way that it looks. So the lipstick that I'm using today is the shade that's really going to make this look come together and it is called Ebony Wine by Black Opal. I received this lipstick at the Black Opal event as well and I mean I must say I really really like this color. It's such a departure for me from my usual natural colors but the only thing that I'm not sure of is the finish on my lips. Um, it's quite glossy. I don't mind the gloss but it seems like as soon as I applied the lipstick it started bleeding or kind of feathering on my lip and I just wasn't really crazy about that finish but in terms of the color i really really like it and i really love the overall look but let me know guys tell me what do you think would you rock this look would you rock this lip color um yeah i'm quite excited to know please share with me and that is the final look everyone thanks so much for watching i will catch you in my next video bye